Hey, good afternoon, guys. Been a while since I've been on uh, the old YouTube. Anyway, uh, been doing some stuff today here on the uh, DJ. Um, I got the fender flare put back on. That was a work. That was a lot of work because the other screws were broken and everything. I had to put all new nuts and bolts on that. So I uh, started the radio install. I got my uh, my wiring all hooked in. It works. Plugged it in. Uh, I got a double DIN. I have a new dash kit coming in for this to put it in with. As you can see, the carpeting. I'm getting the carpeting installed. Getting that put in. I'm doing that now. They say to glue it, but I'm not going to glue it because I want to be able to pull it up. Um, just because I don't want it to stick. I guess I could glue it in some spots. Probably the cargo area I'll glue and the fender flares. Because I'll never pull them up. Um, I'm hoping these seatbelt connections come off. I just tried to get them off and boy, I think they're rusted in. And I don't know if I can get to the... I don't know, there's no way to get to the bolts. The nuts on the other side, everything's covered up. So yeah, as you know, I got the new tail light on. I got the lights working. I had to put a new tail, a new lights, a new turn signal switch in, and now it works. Blinkers work. Four ways work. They didn't work before. Everything works now. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. I'm just got to get the carpeting put in, the seats put in. The seats are, they're, they're a pain in the neck. All this stuff is. It never fits right. You know how it goes. But we'll see. Hopefully I'll get it to fit right. <laughs> and, uh, let me get the plates on it and get her out on the road up for the summer. I want to get a bimini top for it. I'm not going to get a full top. That's it. The motor still sounds kind of rough. I got a ticking sound when I first warm it up and it goes away. I don't know. And it's, it also sounds like there's an exhaust leak. And then that, when it warms up, the exhaust leak goes away. I've never had that issue before with these things, but I never had a four cylinder Jeep either. Always had six cylinder and eight cylinders. We just came back from the Bantam Jeep Festival in Butler, Pennsylvania. Make sure you uh, check that out. That was a great time. Uh, a lot of Jeeps. Never saw so many Jeeps in all my life. And a uh, lot of vendors there. You can get a lot of vendor discounts. I think it's the second week of June every year. That weekend or the first weekend of June. Not sure if it's the same next year. But it's a good show. And it's well worth the drive if you can make it there. That's the Bantam G Festival. Look it up on Facebook and Instagram. All right. Well, that's about it. There's not much more going on. I haven't washed the Jeep yet or buffed it or anything. But it came up okay. It looks good. It's got the clear coat on it. I'm happy with it. It's a Jeep. All right. Well, uh, come back tomorrow and I'll show you how I'm doing this carpeting. You can check it out. Like and subscribe and catch y'all later. Have a good one.